So this is the view from my bedroom window. Views can change. I feel conflicting emotions, I think. Alexis felt joy from the support she saw in the skies Saturday. It turned to anger from the protests she watched on the ground today. You know, it really feels like a slap in the face to medical workers. The 24-year-old is a nurse who doesn't want to share her last name out of concerns of backlash for speaking out against the protesters who want to reopen businesses now. I get it. We all want to be outside. If you don't think for one second that I would rather be on a chairlift in Breckenridge, you're crazy. I, I get it. I, I don't want to be stuck in my house either. I don't think I don't think many people at all are enjoying this. That's not the point. The point she sees is to save lives. Alexis doesn't work in a COVID unit, but the disease is felt everywhere in hospitals. We're having to be surrogate family members for our um, dying patients, whether or not they're COVID, because we aren't allowing visitors right now. We can't. We can't risk it. Saw the cars driving down this road right here. When Alexis looked out her window today, the American flags caught her eye. But to fly American flags to support your point being that it's justifiable to, to put other Americans in danger so that you can enjoy your life or that you can go back to work, it feels backwards. To her, the We're American thing to do right is unite. And I understand the frustration, I really do, but we, we have to fight this together. And we have to maintain that that stance because the second we start turning on each other is the second chaos hits and then we don't have a chance of really addressing this and fixing the problem. Views will always be different. She hopes the protesters hear hers. Pretty, uh, pretty sad sight to see during such a scary time. Katie Eastman, 9 News.